Hi, I'm Rajesh from Technora.in and welcome to another edition of the Technora Coffee Minute. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the different varieties of espresso dosage systems available in the market and how to choose the right one for you. So there are, there are three main dosage systems for your espresso coffee machine. The fourth one being the coffee beans itself. But the three main systems for your coffee machines are powder, coffee powder, coffee capsules and coffee pods. The fourth one, as I mentioned, is coffee beans itself, which, which go into machines that are bean to cup. Uh, as, a, as a dosage system completely. So today we're going to talk about these three uh, uh, delivery systems or coffee dosage systems for your coffee machines which will give you a better idea of what kind of coffee machine you'd like to get into depending on what the delivery or the dosage system uh, is, is, is required. Uh, I would suggest that you go and uh, watch another video for the link for which I've given below in, in the description in which we've also described these machines in detail and uh, what each of these machines are capable of, what are their advantages, disadvantages, what to expect, what not, etc. The first uh, dosage system is of course coffee powder, uh, where your ground coffee powder is loaded onto your espresso coffee machine, just like the uh, several machines that we have shown you in the past or what we sell, is, uh, is a, they, they, they accept coffee powder as, uh, as a coffee dosage system. So you get coffee powder from uh, your um, uh, from your uh, roaster uh, directly ground or you ground it at home uh, that, that's that, that's your choice but that's the first uh, dosage system which is of ground coffee powder the second type of uh, dosage system is uh, is the coffee capsule now uh, this coffee capsule was developed by Nestle uh, the Swiss company that uh, produces the uh, instant coffee, which is Nescafe. And uh, they were faced with a dilemma at that time. They wanted to get into the gourmet coffee market. And uh, they had a reputation problem because they were known predominantly as uh, producers of uh, inexpensive instant coffee. So they came up with this plan of uh, introducing a system a complete coffee system in itself so machine and coffee uh, delivery system uh, which, 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 which is now known as the Nespresso so the Nespresso capsule is basically a uh, porter filter basket in itself so coffee which is ground and roasted and processed is put into these aluminium uh, capsules uh, nitrogen flush to, 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 to keep them uh, preserved and then they are placed in these machines that uh, once you put this into the machine and you press the lever down there is a needle with a, with a, with a hollow uh, there's a hollow needle that punctures this, uh, this, this section here the aluminium foil over here and hot water enters through that needle under high pressure because there is a pump in the machine and that's how you get your espresso. The patent license has expired and that's why you have a lot of companies, a lot of brands coming out with their own delivery systems or even machines that say that they accept the Nespresso capsules. You have other, other uh, companies that have come up with their own kind of capsules. Uh, but, but then the only problem with that is that uh, they will accept, if you buy those machines, they will accept, I mean, you, you, you have to buy the capsules as well from them. Or if you buy machines that are Nespresso compatible, then not only can you buy Nespresso capsules, but you can buy capsules that are same size as Nespresso, but not necessarily produced by Nestle. The third delivery system is what is known as the coffee pod or ESE pod. ESE uh, uh, meaning easy serve espresso. Now this is something like a like a like a takeoff on a tea bag. So you have these uh, two discs of filter paper. You have a ready-made puck of coffee, ground coffee that is compressed between these two filters uh, between these two papers and pressed pressed together, sealed together with with a kind of uh, a glue, and uh, this becomes your dosage system. So all you have to do is take this, place it into your espresso water filter, 
any any regular espresso machine will do you don't have to have any any special machine for this unlike like the, the like the uh, 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 the, uh, the coffee capsules and you you are you are ready to go so basically you what you've eliminated is the process of scooping up powder and placing it into your uh, 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 powder filter basket tamping it that's the process you have eliminated by going in for something like this now if 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 you're going to buy a capsule or a pre packaged uh uh pod it's 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 going to it's going to be processed so there's a process there is uh, uh, there's nitrogen flushing there uh, to, to 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 preserve it it's not it's not going to be as natural as you know getting beans or uh, coffee powder from fresh from the roast tree so um, there is a difference in 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 the taste but end of the day it's all going to depend on what you know where your lifestyle takes you i mean if you have uh, the kind of lifestyle where you don't have the time to uh, uh, prepare a cup of uh, espresso by yourself by scooping coffee powder into into your uh, powder filter and and having some coffee then of course uh, any of these two methods is 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 good for you basically these are the these are the main three systems of uh, of delivery for your uh, uh, espresso coffee machines and um, i hope uh, uh, this is quite uh, explanatory and gives you enough uh, knowledge now to 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 decide what kind of machine you would like to buy if you have any questions please feel free to write if you have uh, any comments please share it with us if if there is some information that you would like to share with your fellow coffee lovers do that as well Uh, head on to our channel Technora TV for lots of uh, information on machines and coffee drinking uh, in general. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.